Expectations are very negative here. I mean, this was described by the Europeans as one of the best deals they've ever done, yet Europe doesn't necessarily want to sign off on it despite getting a good deal. What does this mean for TTIP, the US deal, the trade agreement? Because one of the stumbling blocks seems to be this invested dispute yeah. settlement mechanism, which is somewhat convoluted and complex, but it also exists in the US agreement. It does. You're precisely right. I mean, I think if, if we look at CETA now, CETA, the idea was it was meant to be signed Thursday this week. Trudeau was going to fly into Brussels. It would be an EU-Canada summit. The whole thing would be signed off. Now, at the moment, that's not looking likely. If CETA fails right now, it doesn't mean it's completely dead. There is a window of opportunity. Things could happen in the next few weeks. If we look at the um, electoral stages coming through in many EU member states, in the Netherlands, in Austria, Italy, France, Germany, in the next 12 months, it's going to be very difficult. There is a backlash against international trade. You mentioned TTIP. In the case of TTIP, there have been multiple protests um, over the summer months, especially in Germany, but across other EU member states as well. If CETA dies, let's say, then it's looking very, very bad for TTIP as well. But I think this isn't just a European problem. If we look at the United States as well, in the US elections at the moment, in the presidential elections, both candidates have come out very, very, uh, I suppose, critically against international trade. So that it doesn't look good. Point. Is something changed now in the environment? Traditionally, trade agreements just sort of used to work in that if you didn't like something in the agreement, you'd change it, you'd negotiate and come up with a better deal for one of the parties on the other side of the agreement. But now it seems to be about this populist sentiment in the uh, community about globalization. They don't want trade deals overall. So do you see deals just failing to, to be signed globally now for, for trade because populations are not for it? Well, I think that's been there uh, for quite some time. But of course, we start to see that it's sort of becoming a lot crunchier as an issue once you start to have those deals on the table and people are required to sign them. And CETA, I think, is a, is a warning bell in that sense from, from the balloons. It was looked at in, in lots of different other contexts. But so it is a warning bell. And, and you asked earlier about the impact on Brexit. Well, of course, that negotiation, that deal still has to be done. But if, in the back of anyone's mind will be the fact that it will ha may have to be agreed by all 27 member states and the regional parliaments within some of those.